Mustafa Kemal Ataturk started organizing Anatolia for the War of Independence. At that time, news about this topic began to appear in the foreign press. Ataturk and the victorious story of the War of Independence created a great echo in the foreign press. As a nation, we have always been curious about what the foreign press is saying. So, what if we gave you the 1919 version of the foreign press? What was being said about Ataturk at that time, and what news appeared in the foreign press? All of these answers are in this video. Before we move on to the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to be a part of our core family and support us. After the end of World War I, the Ottoman Empire suffered from the destruction of the war and unrest increased within the country. It was precisely at this time that the Turkish War of Independence was initiated under the leadership of Mustafa Kemal Ataturk. The struggle of the Turks created a wide echo in the foreign press. Many foreign newspapers and magazines praised the courage and determination shown by the Turks in the war. The French newspaper L'Excelsior published a news article on April 1, 1921, saying, the Turks are running from all directions to participate in the war. Now a new Turkish army is taking the place of the old Turkish army, which was full of invincibility. The English newspaper The Times praised the superior military tactics and abilities of the Turks in the war. The Turks are achieving great success in modern warfare. Like the Germans, the Turks are adept at using their rifles and are also influenced by the war techniques used by the British, it wrote. The courage and determination shown by the Turks in the war caused a great sensation in the world press. The American newspaper The New York Times published a praise-filled article about the incredible bravery shown by the Turks in the war. The Turks are among the bravest soldiers in the world. These people are fighting without giving up, without being discouraged. Even under very difficult conditions, the Turks continue to fight, it wrote. In September, newspaper clippings were published with the theme, We Must Take Ataturk Seriously. The content of the news stated, according to some information, Mustafa Kemal Pasha, who has a force of 300,000, has completely lost control of Istanbul. In an article published in October, it was written, it is said that Turkish nationalist leader Mustafa Kemal, who is the head of the movement centered in Konya, has a force of more than 300,000. After capturing Konya, an important railway center and almost dominating South Asia, the failure of the Turkish cabinet quickly followed. In November, an article titled Mustafa Kemal Forms an Alliance with Lenin was published, which also covered Asnavar Ahmet's battle with Kavei Mili. The article stated, according to a telegram exchange from Copenhagen, Mustafa Kemal Pasha, the head of the national Turkish government established in Asia Minor, has offered an alliance to Russian Bolshevik Prime Minister Lenin. Reportedly, a Turkish army of 3,000 soldiers organized by Ahmed Bey in Belgium has been deployed to attack nationalist forces. During this period, Ataturk gave his first interview to foreign media, speaking openly about his thoughts and showing that Anatolia was not an easy target. Foreigners heard Mustafa Kemal Pasha's thoughts for the first time from his own mouth. In December, the first false news about Ataturk was published and the tone of address became provocative. The first of many false news was, Mustafa Kemal, the leader of the Turkish rebels in Anatolia and the leader of the Turkish nationalist movement in Asia Minor, was assassinated in Izmir. Positive and negative news published in the foreign media contributed significantly to the success of the Turkish War of Independence. The Turkish people achieved one of the greatest victories in history thanks to their determination and courage in battle. This victory under the leadership of Ataturk was a turning point for the Turkish nation and received widespread coverage in the foreign media. These news stories helped to ensure that the Turkish War of Independence would be remembered as an important event in history and created a globally recognized image of Ataturk's military strategies and leadership skills that was admired by people all over the world.